Please sit with your back straight. Hands on your upper thighs, feet on the ground. Your hands facing up. Gently focus on your third eye, which is up at the bridge of your nose between your eyebrow. We're going to start with Kriyaki Yoga, which is breathing in order to clear our Kundalini lines. So as you breathe in, you can visualize the air. If you can visualize moving from your tailbone through your backbone to the back of the head and goes to the center of your head, where is your third eye. As you exhale, you see the same movement going back from your third eye going back to the back of the head, to the back vertebra all the way down to the tailbone. As you inhale, you can say hum, H-O-N-G. As you exhale, you can say so, S-O-W. It is uh, up to you. You can say it loud or in your mind's eye. Let's do that for a few, a few times so we can clear our Kundalini lines. Now, we're going to visualize a beautiful light coming from multiverse above our head, entering our crown chakra. This could be golden light or any color you like. I refer to it as golden light. Golden light enters crown chakra. It fills the crown chakra fully and completely. It cleans and energizes the crown chakra. Beautiful light move down to our third eye. It covers our third eye, sixth chakra fully and completely. It cleans and energizes. It moves down to our throat chakra. Golden light is covering it fully and completely. It cleans and energizes. It moves down to our heart chakra. The golden light is covering it fully and completely. It cleans and energizes. It moves down to our solar plexus. It fills it in golden light fully and completely. It cleans and energizes. It moves down to the sacral chakra. It fills it in golden light fully and completely. It cleans and energizes. It moves down to basic chakra. 
golden light is covering it fully and completely. It cleans and energizes. Beautiful golden light goes through our legs all the way down and exits from the bottom of our foot, goes to the goes to Mother Earth, travels down, down, down to the core of Mother Earth where we share this beautiful golden light with. We give our gratitude and our thanks for the bounty that is giving us every moment. We share the multiverse divine light with Mother Earth to rejuvenate and heal as it expands through Mother Earth. Part of that light will come back to our leg. It travels up goes through our rare chakra, Ming Ming, back solar plex, pack core chakra, and it travels up, 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 goes through our crown and goes back to multiverse. The beautiful light is completely going through our body like a funnel or a tube of light. The rare chakra are being also cleaned and energized all of them being filled in golden light, cleanse and energize. Now this tunnel of light expands and expands to cover the first auric level. The first auric level is covered in golden light. Consider an onion with many layers. You are in the center of the onion and you're covering the first layer of the onion or lotus and is covered in golden light fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, precipitate and disintegrate. Now take a deep breath. Beautiful golden light moves to the second auric level. Second auric level, it covers it. Golden light fully and completely. Anything less than love, any and all blockages precipitate and disintegrate. Now take a deep breath. We move to the third auric level. Golden light is covering it fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, precipitate and disintegrate. Now, take a deep breath. We move on to the fourth auric level. The golden light expands to the fourth auric level and it covers it fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, dissipate and disintegrate. Now, take a deep breath. We are moving on to the fifth auric level. Golden light is covering it. Golden light fully and complete. Any and all blockages, anything less than light, precipitate and disintegrate. Now, take a deep breath. moves on to the sixth auric level, 
covers it in golden light fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, dissipate and disintegrate. Now, take a deep breath. Moving to the sixth auric level, golden light expands to the sixth auric level and it covers it fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, precipitate and disintegrate. Now, take a deep breath. Moving on to the seventh auric level, the golden light is covering it fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, precipitate and disintegrate. Now, take a deep breath. Now we are moving to templates. Each template corresponds to chakras. Starting with the first template corresponding to basic chakra. Again, like an onion, see the basic chakra, the first layer is filled in golden light fully and completely. Any and all blockages dissipate and disintegrate. Now take a deep breath. It moves to the second template corresponding to sacral chakra. The golden light is covering it fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, dissipate and disintegrate. Now take a deep breath. Moving to the third template corresponding to solar plex. It is covered in golden light fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, precipitate and disintegrate. Now take a deep breath. Moving to the fourth template corresponding to heart chakra. All the light is covering the fourth template fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, precipitate and disintegrate. Now take a deep breath. Moving to the fifth template corresponding to throat chakra. Golden light is covering it fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, precipitate and disintegrate. Now take a deep breath. Moving to the sixth template corresponding to third eye. The golden light is covering it fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, precipitate and disintegrate. Now, take a deep breath.
we move on to the seventh template corresponding crown chakra. The golden light is covering it fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, precipitate and disintegrate now. Now, any karmic cord that no longer serves, any coercive cord, any energetic cord that is generated from us to others or others to us that no longer serves us and is less than love, it's going to be dislodged. See a socket with a cord attached to it, your energetic body, whatever these cords are, there could be a number of them, numbers, and just detach that or pull it out with the cord attached to it and visualize or set your intent that the same from the other side, whatever is connected to whoever is connected gets detached and it disintegrates into this. Set your intent or visualize. Now we are gonna start our meditation. Today's meditation is to detach from all the links or links that prevent us from moving forward or it slows us down. Ask yourself in your mind's eye with, or from your guides or with assistance from your guides and helpers to show any links that exist between you or with you or through or through thought process or things or animals or a place or environment or a level of a status or a beingness that is holding you back or is stopping your progress. There are lots of links. Focus on one for our purpose. You can do this to go through different links at each time. So focus on one, one link that is either with a person or a material object, status of beingness or a thought process or environment. That link that is holding you back or is slowing your progress. See it as an electrical cable with plug on either side. And the plug can be connected to a socket that is connected to you and to the other side. And the other side of this connected, it could be again a person or a thing or a status of being or environment or a thought process. Disconnect that plug with the cable. That represents the energetic link from yourself. And the other side, so visualize that you're disconnecting it. Now visualize that you have a, a recycling bin next to you. As you disconnect this link, this plugs, you put them into this recycling bin. So that link can dissolve in that recycling. A link can be created 
and a new link can be created. It's placing it. So you have to take it further a step. So remove this socket or a plug and see taking it off of you, like you're taking it from the wall. Disconnect it. Again, place it into the recycling bin to dissolve and go back to source of energy. This energy just changes form. The same with the wires. Disconnect the wires from the fuse. There are three wires, as you may know, air, live, and neutral wires. So pull them all out. This is again created from a thought process or environment or a person, status of being, or a thing. Pull it and place it in the recycling bin. This connection can have been created anywhere between chakras or our bodies. So now that the wires are removed, we have to fill these cavity places that are left. To do that, in order to, to completely fill in so it doesn't reappear, a new link, we starting with our basic chakra. By opening our basic chakra, which is between your sex organs, you extend it fully toward the ground, that's how it extends, and rotate it clockwise. If you can't visualize, you can just set your intent and say your mental your thought process that I'm opening my basic chakra fully and rotating it clockwise, or I'm opening my basic chakra. As you do, fill in all the cavities within your chakra as you pull the links and have a connection. The way to fill it, you can see golden light from the same multiverse that is going through you. That beautiful golden light, turn it into a little ball and put it wherever there is an opening, a cavity, and fill it in. Like you would fill in the wall when there is a hole. Just fill it in with this golden light. Any gap between the chakras. Now we move on to the second chakra, which is sacral chakra. It's two and a half, three, two and a half inch, three inches below navel. You extend it fully in front of you and rotating it clockwise. And the clockwise is you visualize a clock in front of you and the handle is moving from 12 to three to six, to nine to 12. Or you can just command it. I'm opening my sacred chakra fully, rotating it clockwise, or I'm opening my sacral chakra now. Now that chakra is open, Fill in the cavities, any areas that require filling when the link was disposed of. So there won't be any new link generated. Each of your chakra represents a specific bodies. So there are specific layers. So in order to Prevent the 
the new link to be generated, you need to fill in by going through all the chakras. Once you have put the golden lights, the ball of golden lights from the multiverse that is going through you and filling those cavities, you can move to the third chakra, which is your solar plex. Your solar plex opening it up fully in front of you. Usually it's open nine and a half to 12 inches. And then rotating it clockwise. Visualize a clock. If you can, move the handle from 12 to three to six to nine to 12. Or command it with your intent that I'm opening my solar plex fully and rotating it clockwise, or I'm opening my solar plex now. Fill in the cavities where it needs filling from the link that was pulled out. Now moving to the fourth chakra, the heart chakra, opening it fully in front of you, rotating it clockwise, or command it that I'm opening my heart chakra fully, and rotating it clockwise, or I'm opening my heart chakra now. Fill in the cavities with the beautiful golden lights. Wherever that needs filling from pulling the link. Now move on to the next chakra, our throat chakra, which is in the center of our throat. We extend it fully and rotating it clockwise. I am opening my Throat chakra fully and rotating it clockwise, or I'm opening my throat chakra now. Filling the cavities with a golden light where the link was disconnected. Going on to the third eye, you extend it fully in front of you and rotating it clockwise. I'm extending my third eye chakra fully and rotating it clockwise, or I'm opening my third eye chakra now. Fill in the cavity with the golden light. Moving down to crown chakra. Crown chakra opens toward the sky. So extend it fully toward the sky and rotate it clockwise, the same format. Looking at a clock handle moving from 12 to three to six to nine to 12. Or you just command that I'm opening my crown chakra fully, rotating it clockwise, or I'm opening the crown chakra now. Now fill in the cavities where the link is connected to the golden light. This is a good time if you have shields to reinforce your shield since all the chakras are open and you fill the cavities. So you can compress to make sure there's no opening between the chakras and the golden lights. 
can reinforce it. I'll give you a moment. don't have a shield you just reinforce your energetic field now that you have gone through all the levels of chakras now you can close each chakra the way to close it is starting with crown chakra just retract it back and stop the rotation or you can just say i'm closing my crown chakra you don't actually close the chakra it just goes back to its original state but it's not a extended fully as we did. Moving on to third eye chakra, which was in front of you, you just retract it back and stop the rotation. Where I'm closing my third eye chakra. Going to the throat chakra, retract it back and stop the rotation where I'm closing the throat chakra. Going back to heart chakra, Retract it back, stop the rotation, or I'm closing the heart chakra. Solar plex, retract it back and I stop the rotation, or I'm stopping the solar plex, or I'm closing the solar plex. Retract back and stop the rotation of sacral chakra or I'm closing the sacral chakra. Retract back or stop the rotation of the basic chakra, or I'm closing the basic chakra. You can use this method to find other links and dispose of them and then fill the cavities so it will not regrow a new connection. Your thought process also can be in this method to be disposed of, which creates links. Now we are going to set our intent for today as a group. And this concludes our today's meditation after completing our intentions for today. And thank you so much. It was beautiful. I hope you enjoyed it.